Hey, what's up everybody? This is Royce and Pedal Mel. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be my January slash February haul video. And this is featuring the diecast vehicles only in 164 scale. Uh, it's not including some other stuff that I might have picked up, but um, it's I have the on my workbench here divided. I have Hot Wheels on this side and then I have Matchbox on the other side. So we'll bring the camera closer and you guys can check out what I got. Uh, where I live, for whatever reason, Hot Wheels have been very difficult to get a hold of. I have pretty good luck finding the new Matchboxes and I think they're all really, really nice in my opinion. I know some of you guys might not collect the Matchboxes. Um, you might want to give them another shot though because some of them are really cool. That being said, we will bring the camera over and I'll show you guys what I had or what I've gotten so far for uh, January and February. Um, like I said, I, I don't get too carried away buying all the different paint variants. Uh, some of you guys collect all them. I, I can't really afford to do that. It's just, it's too much. And I, I'm running out of space here in my little house. All right, we'll start from the right side of the screen. These are all obviously Hot Wheels. Now there's a couple of them, like the Golf and the Black Carrera above the Golf that were sent in, oh, and the Lancer that were sent in to me by a viewer named Mark from Nashville, Tennessee. Very nice of him. Uh, actually, he also sent the one of the black Sharones. Uh, I am going to be having a separate video on these two. These are quite interesting. You can only get these at Target. Uh, they're from Jada, and they make noise. I, there's six in the set. I only bought two because they're $4 a piece. So we'll do, I'm going to do a separate video on those then. But this is, there's some some newer Hot Wheels here. Now there's a paint variant there. Of course, the Range Rover and the Bugatti. Uh, the 52 year set just came out and they were at my grocery store. I didn't grab all of them. Actually, the it, I didn't even think to look for the gasser. I just grabbed the ones in the front that I thought looked good. I was in a hurry, but I have a feeling the Gasser one's probably going to be the most popular there. Uh, I'd like to lo I'd love to find another Volvo wagon. That was another one a uh, buddy uh, Mark from Nashville, Tennessee sent me. Now, obviously, like the Ford Focus RS, that's a paint variant there. Uh, there's, you know, quite a few of them that were out before, but there's also a lot of new ones. Uh, that Camo uh, Nova, I've never seen that in a store. That was another one that I did the video the other night. Mark from Tennessee sent me that one as well. But all the matchboxes, I think all these... Yeah, all of them I found myself in the wild. And I have a really good luck here. There's a Dollar Tree store near me that carries all these great matchboxes, thankfully. Or I can usually find them there. I have pretty, pretty good luck. So some of these you guys may have never seen because I think... The deal with some of these matchboxes are, you know, once you see them, if you don't get it when you see it, you may never see them again. So I definitely recommend if there's something you want to get and you see it, you better grab it because you may not have a, a chance to do so the next time. There's, of course, a lot of rescue vehicles there. Uh, this one I just got the other day. I think it's a, I can't really read it so small, but I think it's also what in the forest fire series the ranger but i think like these new ones like this mercedes there just some of these are just really really nice and the alpha is awesome too you really can't go wrong with with some of these new matchboxes i think they're great i believe the ranchero is brand new as well and i'm i know the mark one rabbit is new And I'm thinking, I'm thinking this Calax new, but I could be wrong. This is obviously a repaint. 
has the hot sauce or whatever the uh, sauce there on it. This one here I highly recommend. The 33 Ford is really, really nice. That one I can see uh, doing a custom of that. Of course, the BMW is a repaint. But, uh, and here's the two different uh, Colorados, excuse me, both in the two different paints. But some of these I had never seen. I don't think this bank one I've ever seen before. I mean, maybe even different colors. I know they have, there's some other um, armored car ones that they have. Um, and the SWAT one there, I'm not sure if I've ever seen that one before either. But so anyway, and then also in the back here we have. I finally got all four of them. I will probably do a video eventually. Uh, this is number 12, 13, 14, and 15 of the transporter sets. And now, of course, they even released even more of them uh, the other week or a few weeks ago. And people are posting pictures on Instagram of those. So I think eventually I'll see those in the store. I, I'm kind of getting a little tired of them, to be honest with you. They're very expensive to purchase as you guys know as well it, it, it's not cheap it's not cheap buying you know a lot of this stuff and then uh, maintaining a household <laughs> it's it's pretty difficult unless you're uh, wealthy so there you go that is my january slash february haul i probably missed some stuff now like i have doubles like i had to pull out some doubles and triples of stuff but i didn't want to show all that so and most of all them end up going to friends. But that's a good representation. I don't get too carried away. I know some of you guys buy everything that comes out, but So all right, there you go. Thanks for checking out January slash February's haul and it gives you a good idea where some of my money goes and I tell you what, if you're not sure where some of your money goes and you're trying to make a budget, do this. I highly recommend it because it's a quite a shocker. You'll see where you're spending some of your money and is it really worth it on some of these? Uh, I guess it is. You know, it's an, it, the hobby brings a lot of enjoyment to people and brings enjoyment to myself because I like cars and I, I do, I love, um, you know, anything that I can't afford, obviously, like the Bugatti and, you know, these some of these cars in real life, I, I could never afford an XJ220 Jaguar, obviously. So it's cool to to be able to pick them up miniaturized and enjoy them that way. And if you have kids, enjoy them with your kids. Um, I probably will, I've been thinking about doing a video of tearing them all out of the pack. I'm not sure yet if I want to do that. I have, I don't know how many thousands of cars, and I thought about taking them all out of the pack. So I'm not not entirely sure yet what i want to do with that I just i'm running out of room and uh get, it gets a little gets a little out of control it's a little it's a bit much it's a lot to deal with but uh like i said if you're trying to figure out where some of your money's going i highly recommend laying everything out at the end of the month or every other month like i, I kind of forgot to do a january i probably think i forgot to do a december haul as well um but it's a good idea it's it's a it's a it's a good way to uh, figure out exactly what you're buying. I know here, I probably, I'm sure I missed, there's probably 30% or more here that I'm going to find after I do this video that I'm going to be like, uh-oh, I forgot to put this in the video. But that's okay. It at least gives you an idea. And some of you guys are probably in the same boat as me where you live and you don't see these Hot Wheels or when they, you know, when they do drop, uh, there's certain guys in your town that will... Uh, that know when they're coming to the store and they're going to be right there to suck them up. And unfortunately, I have no problem with that, but I do have a problem with these guys. And there's some in my town here, I know for a fact, because I've, I know a couple of them. But they'll buy every car. And you see it, they'll have a whole shopping basket of like a like 100 cars. And they're only two or three different designs. I'm like, well, why would you need... 20 cars of the same and it's obviously they're you know buying them to resell which i don't have a problem with that either but leave some for other collectors and other kids that are looking uh, i do see kids sometimes looking at hot wheels believe it or not but it is mostly old guys like myself but uh i think there's some some kids are still into them 
So thanks for checking out the video. And if you like this type of video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It's cold out here. I'm sorry. It's cold out here in my garage. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. It's free. You can't be free. And, and hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye now. Oh, and also comment down below what which one of these is your guys favorite or you can even if you want to list the two or three favorites like the 944 turbo you know whatever the camo nova just list down below which ones you guys what's your favorite uh casting right now and uh i will definitely read the comments and that's also i pride myself in reading all the comments and i try to respond to everybody Unlike as a few other channels where the people, the guys don't write back at all to the viewership. Um, so anyway, that being said, I will talk to you guys soon. All right, see you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye now.